Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's do an example of how to calculate the current through each of the three branches of a three-branch multiple branch circuit. We have one amp entering the branch point, we have a 2-ohm resistor in the top branch, a 4-ohm resistor in the middle branch, and an 8-ohm resistor in the bottom branch. And we already saw those particular values in our conceptual video that we did a few videos ago. So now we're actually going to show you how to calculate it using those equations. Those are the three equations calculating the current in each of the three branches. Notice that for the top branch, in the numerator we have the product of the resistance of the other two branches. For the middle branch, again, we have the resistance of the other two branches in the numerator here. And for the bottom branch, again, we have the resistance of the other two branches in the numerator. And in the denominator, we have the very same denominator for all three equations, R1 times R2, R1 times R3, and R2 times R3. All that multiplied times the current entering the branch point. So to find current I1, this is equal to in the numerator, we're going to have R2 times R3, which is 4 times 8, divided by R1 times R2, which is 2 times 4, plus R1 times R3, which is 2 times 8, plus R2 times R3, which is 4 times 8. And we multiply that times 1 amp of the total current entering the branch point. So simplifying this, this becomes the numerator is 32 divided by 8 plus 16 plus 32 all times 1 amp. And this would be equal to 32 divided by 48 plus 8 which is 56 times 1 amp. And then notice if I divide the numerator and the denominator by 8, I end up with 4 over 7 times 1 amp, which is equal to 4 sevenths of an amp, and that is the current through the top branch. Now that I know what the denominator is equal to, that will of course be the same for the denominator of the other two currents, I2 and I3, because all the three denominators are exactly the same. Which means that I2 can now be found by taking the product of the resistance of the other two branches, R1 and R3, so that's 2 times 8, divided by the total of those three products, which is 56, multiplied times 1 amp. Of course, this is equal to 16 over 56 times 1 amp. And notice if I divide both the numerator and denominator by 8, this equals 2 over 7 times 1 amp, or I2 is equal to 2 sevenths of an amp. So now we have I1, which is 4 sevenths of an amp, I2, which is 2 sevenths of an amp. And finally, I can calculate I3, which is equal to R1 times R2, which is 2 times 4, divided by the sum of those three products, which again is 56, multiplied times 1 amp, which is equal to 8 over 56, multiply times 1 amp. Of course, if I divide both the numerator and denominator by 8, I get 1 7 This is 1 7 times 1 amp. Or finally, I can say that I3 is equal to 1 7 of an amp. If I now add those three together, notice they should add up to 1 amp. I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to, I1 is 4 7 of an amp. I2 over here is 2 sevenths of an amp, and I3 is 1 seven of an amp, all together is equal to 1 amp, and of course that's what we expected. Now you can see that once you have those three equations, you can very easily calculate the current through each of the branches when you have three, a three parallel branch circuit, and that's how it's done.